Sometimes I just like to appreciate the beauty of the game. And I found this video of Kobe Bryant shooting in slow motion and I just thought it was so spectacular and it shows why we love the game. Why we love the beauty of the game. Everything in the body is symmetrical. Everything moves in one cohesive unit. Basketball is such a beautiful sport. You really don't see it in any other sport, in my opinion. The way the ball goes through the air, there's anticipation on every shot. It moves in angles and loops and circles. It requires focus. You have to be able to run, jump, be able to cut. You need to be able to see the whole floor and then lock onto a target. Everybody's involved on offense. Everyone's involved on defense. There's no mask to hide behind. You don't get plays off. You're involved on every single possession. It's not like football where you're on the sideline for half the game or baseball where you're in the dugout. You have to play within a team so it's not like golf. The fans are right next to you, which is different than most other sports. It's just a beautiful game. Your emotions are right on the surface. You have to be tough. You're playing on an extremely hard surface, and it often comes down to the very last shot of the game or the very last play. And a small bounce here or there can make all the difference in the world. All right, I'm here with uh, Haroon Noor. Haroon, what's like uh, your favorite experience you had from basketball? Uh, I'd say like uh, playing AAU, uh, traveling around the country with my teammates, like on the weekends at school. Um, just, just being able to like be with them, get close to those guys, you know, and like they always have my back is one of my best moments playing basketball, playing sports in general. Are you so close to some of those guys? I am, yeah. I'm, I'm really close to those guys. We still have a group chat. Uh, we, we talk all the time. Like, like they always say, like once you're brothers, when you start being brothers, you're brothers for life, and like those guys are always your brothers. A solid. Do you have any like significant like people that besides like teammates, like coaches or mentors, maybe that you met from basketball? Oh uh, yeah, um, Coach JT. He, he's my AU coach. Uh, like for AU, you only like meet really in the summer, and that's when you really like get that other team. And like he was always with me all year round. Like he'd come to my basketball game in, in high school, talk to me after after game, and be like, "What do I need to get better with?" And, like would help me out like after practices. Like he'd come, we'd go to a gym, we'd shoot around, and he was just my coach all like throughout the whole year. And even with out. Like the basketball aspect of it, like even with school, like, like there was like a couple classes that like I wasn't doing good in, and he was just he was just getting on me about getting your grades in those classes, and, and like that's that he, he's still he's still talking to me in college to this day. That's solid. Um, what's like the coolest place you've been from basketball? Uh, I'd say uh, it's called uh, the Fab Forty Fab Forty Eight. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, and it's in uh, Las Vegas. And so it's like a week tournament where like all the, the best AU teams go down there and like you stay in Las Vegas and it's just uh and then the Adidas like circuit like like uh, the year I went uh James Harden like all these Adidas Adidas athletes came down and that was the year that uh LeBron James kid was also like playing that tournament so like LeBron was there and that that was probably the coolest place I've been to with like the environment and the people who were there. All right.